Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of skull on file simulation videos using Blender easily. So hope you guys will find that tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 2.93. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's import our skull model. So here I got this skull model from free3d.com. Download link in the description. Okay. So now go to this file, import. It is an object file. So select this wavefront OBJ and let me select the model and import OBJ. So here you can see we got the model here. So now let me reduce the scaling. So select the model, press S on the keyboard. And reduce the scaling here press 3 for side view and let me rotate this curl model like this okay and also let me place this just about to the grid so now let me apply this transform of scale so select the model go to this object apply scale and also let me set the origin to geometry fine so now let's add fire onto the skull so select the model go to this object come to this quick effects and select this quick smoke so here you can see we got a box created around the skull which is called domain so basically the simulation takes place inside this boundary lines only which is domain okay so if you want to increase the scaling we can do that so simply select the domain press s and increase the scaling here and let me place the domain just below to the skull model here like this okay so here at the corner you can see a cube here so this is voxel size which indicates you can assume like 3d pixels so if the size of this cube is large the quality will be less if the size of the cube is small the quality will be more so let me show you so select the domain come to this physics property so type let it be domain domain type let it be gas so here comes the resolution part if i increase this to 64 you can say the scaling of the cube is reduced which indicates the quality is a bit better when compared to previous one so for time being i will leave this to 32 only so at the time of render i will increase this quality fine so now scroll down and enable this adaptive domain option nice and if you want to have the fire and smoke to be dissolved after certain height you can enable this dissolve option so i will not do that so enable this noise option to add some noise in fire and come to this fire expand these options so reaction speed i leave this to 0.75 only indicates the speed of the fire and vorticity i will change this to 0.35 this indicates the circular motion effect of fire and smoke okay so if you want to have much you can increase the value let me select a cache folder where i can save the cache so let me select a folder so i have selected a folder here and frames I will give the end frame to 200 only it's enough so now select this skull model now and type let it be flow flow type i will select fire plus smoke so if you want only fire you can select this fire option so here i will be using both so fire and smoke and flow behavior set it to inflow so inflow means the simulation will be continuous throughout the timeline so i want that kind of effect so i will be selecting this inflow and rest and all we can leave like that only so now let's come to this domain once again select the domain scroll down and type change it to all so here we got an option to bake so now simply click on this bake all button so here you can see the bake is done so if i play this now we got our simulation here with fire and smoke so now let's see how it looks in render viewport so if i move on to this render viewport here we are not finding the fire only smoke is visible so first let me come to this world properties and let me change this to complete black and let me add a light in the scene okay and let me increase the strength of the light to 5 and let me rotate this here okay so here in this render viewport fire is not visible only smoke is visible so in order to make fire visible in this render viewport select this domain Come to this material properties or else let me split the window here okay press and let me move this aside 
and here also press N. Okay. So now let me change this to shader editor and this one I will change this to render viewport. Okay. So in order to get that file, first let's add temperature here. So add this temperature and density let it be 5. So in order to get this file visible here, we need to play with this black body intensity. So if I increase this black body intensity to 1, you can see we are getting that fire kind of thing. So color, I will change this to, let me change this to dark orange. So you can see we got that fire and this absorption color, I will increase, make it light orange. So we'll get this absorption between the smoke and fire at the certain point. Okay, fine. And temperature. So if I change this to 1250, you can see the intensity of the fire will be increased. So you can select the temperature, what kind of temperature you want. If you increase this number, if I increase this to 1500, the intensity will be more. So select your preferred value. So I will leave this to 1250. So now we we are able to see the fire in this render viewport. So let me get this single thing. So now let me increase the quality of our smoke simulation. Before doing that, we need to free the bake. So select the domain, come to this physical property, scroll down and click on this free all. So the bake is deleted. Okay. So now being selected this domain, scroll up and let me increase this resolution divisions to, I think 128 would be fine. So higher the number, more time it takes to bake. So depending on newer system configuration you can choose the number and also the time you can spend on this bake we can decide this number so for my pc 128 is high so i will leave this to 128 so once this is done so let me click on this bake all once in this way we can create this skull on fire simulation using blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye